But we still get the value, I think. You know, the faster the better. It could be the Emperor. <laughs> I don't miss it. And that was pretty cool. Look at this, man. This was one turn. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today deck that was extremely good to me and I think it will be good for you as well, especially if you hit a lot of aggro decks because man, we are playing Boros and this powerhouse has all the value in the world while be having Helix and all the Sunfalls and Farewells so you cannot really be killed. With Wedding Announcement you put so much pressure, you actually outvalue creature decks so they kind of have to commit, right? Either they go super white and get punished by Sunfall or not go super white and then you actually win on board as a control deck. With Twilight you have uh, played just to you know close every single game and with Warden Chandra and Quintorius you have so much value that I think you will really enjoy the video. And if you were watching every single video every day from the shadows but you never liked and subscribed, hmm, it's your call out day, all right? This is the day to do it. All right, guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this deck as much as I did. So have fun. All right, guys, we are going first and I have to say I'm pretty hopeful. Uh, we have nice start. Good lands. Yep, 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 absolutely. And with Helix, we don't have a Sweeper. That's the only thing we need to consider, but I think we can make it absolutely work, right? Our opponent should kind of know what we most likely will have for this kind of mana. And next turn is Wedding Announcement, and that would be pretty huge. Of course, we don't waste this Nirex. Nice draw so far, nice draws. We are up to 5 mana, so the Elephant Boy is guaranteed. Alright, let's see this one. Wedding Announcement will create a lot of pressure. <laughs> well, look at us, look at us going. Uh, that's probably a wrong round. I should play Mirex probably. I want to be aggressive, because I'm on the play. I hope they will take the hit. If they trade, it's fine as well. I could Helix first to make sure that he doesn't block, of course. Alright, sure. So maybe we'll hit something cooler. And next turn we have uh, Quintorius, right? So we will kill his board, so we have easier time. And we just kill it. Not the best value in the world, but with uh, Planeswalker we should be fine. There's no way he has like instant speed, right? Uh, there's no priority, which means no edict. I expected an edict, but we still get the value, I think. You know, the faster the better. It could be the Emperor. Okay. Listen. Just making sure, right? <laughs> I don't miss it. And that was pretty cool. And our board just became a little bit better. Look at this, man. This was one turn. All of this in one turn. And we were even. Like last turn, we were absolutely even. But when you play uh, Quintorius into Emperor, man, it's so much pressure. And I don't think he has farewell for Planeswalkers. So they are going to stay. And when he sweeps, we have the Warden. Oh boy. Okay, okay, we are doing it. Good call, good call. Alright, this is interesting. This is getting interesting. And this might be something we, we discard. So I could go big score, trying to find some kind of sunfall, but maybe we just fight for the board, man. I think we just fight for the board. Okay, I think I know. I think I know. They will grow, so we kind of want to force the, the, you know, the trade right now. We'll have enough creatures to block. Uh, he might have Sunfall. He probably does, so that's a little bit of a problem. We need to be smart about it. Perfect. That suggests a sweeper. Right? That suggests a sweeper. I think so. Hmm. So we don't want to overcommit, I guess. I think Mirex is a huge problem for him. 
we can also go big score at the end step, depending on how the situation goes. So I expect a sun for or for war. And then we are guaranteed to make a, uh, have a priority. All right, close, close. But that this is good for him because now he has mana for removal. All right, but he's he's not drawing cards. We are forcing damage every single time. Time. I'm not sure if I can kill Ashe. Well, I can. I absolutely can. We just need to hit uh, Lightning Helix, right? This is a really high value, man. I think we just don't waste the value. Like, this is a great card overall. Alright, let's make some cool creatures, shall we? So, I could draw some cards. Uh, okay, question. What was exiled? He sacrificed the whole board. I need to think of on this one because we can read what he has in hand a little bit. So he wanted to just chomp block everything and then he played lockdown. But it's, if he had Sunfall. If he had Sunfall, he would play it, I think. Listen, I might be wrong on this, but I will try. I might absolutely be wrong on this. And we get uh, the counter from Quintorius. Uh, let's keep getting Mirexes, right? I should probably attack first, sorry about that. That was a misplay for sure. Uh, we force one of the trade. And our board is very, very impressive overall. And we already got some value. So even if that's a Sunfall, that's, you know, kinda okay. It's not good. We don't want to see... I think he's looking for Sunfall right now. Let's see if he hits it. I think he doesn't have it, and he plus one to hit it, so that's, that's his first play. Farmhand, so the second card is better than Farmhand. And if, is that the Sunfall? I really think he didn't have it, because the Sunfall token would help him so much, and he played the lockdown instead. So that means, and he didn't use the three mana that he had left over. Yeah, all right. Going to combat phase. That's a weird attack. I will sacrifice uh, a counter. I hope he doesn't. He didn't hit the sandfall, but let's see. It could be there. It could be there, and it will be an extremely good play. But there's high chance. He only drew those three cards in total. So the chance is there, but not a huge one. I think sandfall is such an easy play that if he's thinking, that's not it. Right, farewell is it's fine. It's actually way better. Sunfall is much more scary because of the token. I actually don't mind it. Because our board will still be here. Three and three. So we can go wedding announcement. Yeah, I like the play a lot. Man, it it hits everything perfectly. We can still have uh, the Mex token, we can big score, and we have so much board pressure for next turns. So he needs another sweeper instantly. We need to kill this Asher. this is the only thing keeping him in the game. Uh, if we draw Helix, we just kill it. And we have three Helixes, I believe. So the card is better than the land. And I think we should absolutely win this, but it's all in those draws. If he draws like extremely powerful stuff, uh, he might still be in this. All right, so uh, in this kind of situation, you want to kill Ashok. This is a priority. And that means we also draw cards from the wedding announcement. There is no instant speed sweepers, especially in black and white. So that means, man, this is why we play so, ma so many Mirexes against those kind of decks. So first things first, we want two creatures that have three attack. So killing Ashok is a little bit better. I'm pretty sure he has a lot in his hand. I think he will kill two creatures, so I think Ashok will still stay here. This is minus three. I could double discover, but then I cannot Mirex. Uh, there is no question, we just go for Ashok fully. The more loyalty we get, the better. Like when this dies, they are extremely on the back foot. I think n n for sure they can kill one creature, that's guarantee. We have seen it when we put the counter, he hesitated, because he wanted the good trade. 
Okay. Okay. That's one. Oh, that's it? Oh, that's so less than I expected. Okay, better, better. This is more in line with what I expected. I hope you're ready to Man, he came prepared. And he will get a free trade here. Samurai, sure. Lord, to me. We are doing card. Man, more. All right, this is more in line with what I expected. I expected a huge instant battle. Oh, uh, he's killing something. March. All right, good choice. Good choice, my friend. But let's see. He still needs to sacrifice or at least trade one of them. Yep. Ashok will get to two, so no tokens. That's still good for him. So I could, of course, big score. Uh, moment, moment, I need to think about this one. I kind of want to play the mountain and double mirror accident step and just make all those, you know, cool creatures. The problem is that big score is not guaranteed to give us good value. I need to be careful about the passive, it's only creatures and artifacts, right? Alright, so I'm drawing card. I still might hit the helix. Alright, not, not helix. The planeswalkers are what keeps him in the game. And our is good as well, but if he keeps drawing a sweeper every turn, he can keep removing tokens every turn. Alright, you can see that this, this feeds him better than the land, but it's probably a good card, I would guess. I need to keep pressuring more and more until I can kill uh, Ashok. Of course we can just draw Helix and end all of this immediately, but we need to draw it. We have one on only, right? Yep, only one. We still have another Warden as well, but this has to be our win con, kinda. With the Mirixes we can be a bit wasteful with our value cards, so that's good. Three and three, alright, so we have double Mirix. I kind of want to defend, right? This doesn't have Vigilance. Man, is that the right choice? That means a Sweeper? I don't know. Like, why would you play a Sweeper with double Mirex? Oh, he's scared of Discover. He's scared of Discover. He doesn't know we have Discover all the time along in our hand. Only the Ashok matters. Emperor doesn't draw cards. Man, only three cards. And he got two or three of them. Oh, that's desperation play. I love it. Man, he could get... Oh, he exiled the warden. He exiled the warden. All right. Let's go for it. We need as much pressure as possible. Yes, Ashok, you know what it means. You know what it means. And one of them will get a first strike. Interesting. We just need to kill Ashek. He still has instants. So this will die. This will get blocked. And this will hit for two. That means we still are not killing it. You know what? You know what? We are doing it. We are doing it. I want to hit Helix. I mean good enough good enough because i think i wouldn't kill ashok um, on this turn as well all right this helps a lot i mean a lot so we could have a huge board but i don't think we need to and i like my mirexes they're doing very nice work uh, so we have emperor do we want to protect her kinda so if I go like, oh, I can't, man, I just cannot do it. So then we, we won't draw cards, right? I think we can sacrifice the Emperor. Here we go. Sure, two blockers. That's not enough. So he, man, is that the last card? <laughs> All right. I mean, he definitely dirt keeps this one. All right. 
so that's man that's a one of the good traits and we still keep the emperor so that's not the worst so I can go Queen Taurus. We know exactly what he has. However, he will get good card, not on his next turn, but in two turns, because then all the scries will matter. I think this is okay. I don't want to play another Emperor. We just get the trades. That's not a bad deal. Two damage, right? Potentially four. Potentially four, that's quite a lot. If I play this, I have one Mirex, right? One Mirex. Or big score into Mirex. Alright, so... Moment. Let's get the, the good mana from this. We should have this one. What? Okay. If we play it right. If we play it right. Do I want the token? Man, those tokens can be so important. No, we will just draw the cards so big score can be... You know what? We have so... Easy. See? Uh, now he does... Okay, that's a lot. I think I will sun for this. Most likely, because then I get an instant speed token. I clear the board. He has no explorer targets. Alright. Oh, right. That's an extra damage. But yeah, yeah, we sacrificed the Emperor. Kind of forgot about it. We will a big score on the mountain, probably. And we need to tap correctly, because we can still use Mirex if we do it right. Graveyard. Graveyard. Man, that's a real battle of value, huh? Man, he, he kept so long thanks to this Ashok. Like, if not Ashok, he would falter. Like... Five turns, five turns earlier as Sunfall. I wonder if he takes it. If he if he shows that he has Sunfall, it won't be very good. If he dumps it, he might need it. All right, sure. And I will Sunfall first, <laughs> which is super funny because then he gets no value. All right, I lose the Emperor. It's fine. I mean, listen. I mean, listen. We know what the play is. So let's make the play. Because we might draw something that changes stuff. Well, alright. I mean, good that he hit the sunfall, right? <laughs> good for him. This will be important. Alright, let's untap. Let's untap. So if I attack, he just blocks. Easy as that. I sh this, the ordering is awful, don't look at it. And we know that he cannot answer a planeswalker for, for a long time. And we want to keep the treasures. Alright. I mean, I actually won't guarantee uh, a creature. Because our board is quite impressive already. And he has only Sunfall. He either plays it and gets a 2-2, and then we attack with this and kill the Emperor. All oh, right, they, they have a minus one. Forgot. But if they go Sunfall, then we go Twilight. Twilight will make two more. Man, this is, this is so good. Let your this is so good. Talking. He needs a Sunfall on top of his library. Otherwise, I think he's losing. Oh, now we have it. All right. Guys, 4, 8, 10. If that's not impressive Twilight, I don't know what is. And everything will be buffed. Zero cards. Guys, we did it. We did it. And we will also have two creatures to trade. And then we have Bivak. So I'm not killing the Emperor, but look at this value. If he wants to make a Samurai, uh, don't forget our stuff is 3-3, so we actually deal 34 damage on the next turn while having 35 life. He cannot kill the elephant. Man, the elephant did work <laughs> this game. This needs to be a sunfall. Man, if he draws it, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Alright. Show me. Show me your card. 
they both can block, so that's pretty cool. Alright. Listen. Listen. When we are serious, we are serious. <laughs> and I actually can just exile a number of targets cards from your graveyard at Oh my god, I can play all of them. I have to do it, man. I... do I... <laughs> what do I do? Uh, for... you may play. Okay. I don't want to force a sun for, alright? I'm doing it for you guys. Because I know you want to see the ultimate. So we attacked for 30... Let, let's count. I want to see, man. We attack for 35, 40, 45, 48, and we cast like half of those cards from the library on top of it. That was pretty impressive game. Well, you know what? I'll take being on the draw. With double helix and two lands, it's actually kind of good for us. Maybe, we will see. Honk for the day, if you didn't get one. Esper. Esper, Esper. Oh, you want to kill my stuff, huh? You want to kill those helixes? I mean, it hurts. But we can absolutely make it work. However, it means the geeks that he plays later will stick. It could also be Rafin. And we are getting flooded. Uh, sorry, the opposite. Uh, I, I mean, if we don't go land, I think we might be out because like we, we don't have enough mana. We we draw one six of the deck. If you draw two lands, that's uh, well, you are just bad. Let's see if that's geeks. Wedding announcement. All right. That's interesting. Okay, we drew a land. That's huge. That's the biggest draw of the game. Alright, so now we are fighting for the value and trying to survive until Chandra. He's on the on the play, so his wedding announcement will be stronger generally. And he's not attacking, he knows about it. Listen, one of us is playing a lot of wedding announcements. <laughs> <laughs> it's not here. Uh, can I be aggressive with this draw? I mean, I can. He doesn't want to trade. And I will have double defenders anyway. Ambush. Alright. I see. I see. Didn't expect this one. Well, it fits the build, to be honest. So, maybe I should. Maybe I should. He definitely had something and it was in the counter spell. So that was a little bit wasteful. Uh, I hope it won't matter too much during the game because we have double wedding announcement. So, you know, if I waste one third of one, it still should be fine. However, we still need to draw lands. We need to get to at least four. When we hit big score, then the game starts. Or, you know, just Emperor. Sure. Of course, we don't want to trade. He can play it in next turn. But it will be slow and, you know, vulnerable to Sunforce. Um, but we need to keep drawing cards. A full whiff. A full whiff. A full whiff. That's extremely bad. I think because of it we need to change the strategy altogether. I'm attacking only to draw cards. This was not what I wanted. I do it because I'm better at drawing cards. Man. One fifth of the deck, so I'm playing effectively 15 lands on this deck. And I still want to, you know, at least get one of them to survive. So normally it's not a good play when you want to deal damage to your opponent, but when you have to attack with two creatures and then you want to save as many of them as possible, it's actually okay. Well, this is what we needed, but you know what? There might be a chance, there might be a chance. The problem is that the pressure will mount like crazy right now. And we also didn't hit Sunfall at, at well, as well. We also cannot play Sunfall on the next turn. So a lot, like basically I'm only fighting against my draws right now. Uh, our opponent is also there. And you can see that this is the turn that he should not have ever. And we, we have all the tools but we won't be able to cast them most likely. And this is possibly an air die. They didn't play anything, they have four cards. So this is definitely some nefarious thing. All right, we, we need more creatures in the board. Also, the, the one token I wasted is also hurting quite a lot here. 
Earth Eye would have reaction on this, right? Because it's a uh, triggered ability. So that that could be the pause. The bat. Huh. You want to bat me. The problem for him is that the play for the turn is big score. And he cannot take both of them. So that's uh, unfortunate for our opponent, because this is the card we want to play, and this is the card he wants to exile. So instead he's going for the Chandra, but if we hit Sunfall, the game is won. Uh, unless this is make disappear, it could absolutely be make disappear. He's very cautious about the plays. It might be another path. But we can use March. If we draw right, we win this game. I think this might be make disappear, man. Let's see. So what do we get rid of? Uh, I think the march, we don't have enough cards to keep exiling stuff. And I don't know what he has. It could be make disappear. And he might be waiting for a sweeper. My turn. But the problem for him is that as long as I keep playing Lance, I am fine. So he probably is waiting right now for some cool play, you know? Like for example, tapping out for Chandra. He took the Emperor and not the Chandra. So right now we can just go Helix at that step and then play Emperor we get. We are the better deck and he needs to tap at some point. And when he taps, he's out because we play our big stuff then. Oh, the tap land hurts him. That's not what he wants. Well, you want to attack? You know what happens. I mean, he should attack. Like, there's no downside, really. However, we still go for the play. And we life gain. That helps. I think that's the third lightning helix. Yep. So we would be at 8 normally. Because of that one turn. And my turn. I will definitely invest one treasure to get my 4 drop. And let's see, I think he has a counter spell, it's probably a... it feels like Airtight to be absolutely honest. But what he doesn't know is that I don't need to play a big spell, because I'm already winning with small spells, and that's how you play against control decks. So I never can understand this argument of, oh no, counter spells, but they are actually not very strong if you know how to play around them. Of course they are strong, but you know, you can absolutely just win games around them, especially if player that holds counter spells is a little bit, you know, wonky about it. Uh, I mean, at this point we can start being aggressive even. Even. I think we want to go, to go with Wedding Announcement. You see that he has something, and it doesn't need a spell on the stack. Nah? You want to tap? Or you want to take that? That's the problem for him. I don't need to do anything. And 3 mana. So if I play this, I don't get stuff. If I play this, that's a good counter spell target. So if that's an air type, he, I get a card, he gets a creature, that's a really good turn for him, to be honest. I think we actually lowball this into wedding announcement, because that's probably not super something he wants to get rid of. And this token is huge, like if we can just set up enough creatures... By the way, every turn Sunfall wins the game, right? Oh, Virtue, now he's tapped. I mean, that's probably it. Now he cannot counter anything. The priority comes from Ox. I mean, I can just play Chandra right now. And that means he loses two four drops, basically. And I want as much pressure on board. Like he must play it, told you. When he I think he had air tire resurrected, and this was the only turn when he thought that oh he my opponent is not doing anything, so I will just tap for one turn and then I keep air tire for the next turns. He didn't realize that we were waiting for this moment the whole game. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it, <laughs> the games were pretty crazy, I'll tell you, man. And it definitely shows you the power of the Quintorius Cant. And this was the Planeswalker I really wanted to use. And that was one of the first cards in this deck. And you can see that we have a lot of good targets, even if we don't want to cast all of them. Like Helix Get Lost can be cast, but Wedding Announcement, Celestus Emperor and Big Score, those are really good, you know, great hits that will give you so much value. And and the tokens with Wedding Announcement and Emperor are so much more scary. So yeah, I really enjoyed this kind of deck with Mirexes, Bivax and Planeswalkers together with Warden and some, you know, mid-game pressure with Wedding Announcement. We can deal a lot of damage, way more than you expect, especially with Quintorius in the board. Sometimes, like when you get Chandra, don't forget Chandra lets you cast spells from Exile, Exile to five cards and you can cast them. And then whenever you cast a spell from Exile, so you can get some extra damage here and there with Bivak, Mirex, some Helixes to the face and you know some hits with the Emperor, uh, everything amplified by the Wedding Announcement. So the deck is surprisingly bursty. Also Chandra can minus X, don't forget plus one gives her a lot of loyalty and when you go for this final burst like you can deal 15 damage easily with you know double Helix and you can double them. Man I'm, get, I, I'm getting more excited about the deck while I talk about it but you can see that the power is there so it's all about you what do you want to do with the deck how what's your strategy you have the tools to make everything and against all the aggro decks man you are so solid you have helixes wedding announcement like on every step of the game turn one march turn two helix then wedding announcement or celestus then emperor then sunfall or the elephant then farewell or Chan. like you have a full curve that just negates fully and after the sunfall like they cannot kill you especially on the play man this deck is a beast like they will get nowhere killing you while when you play the sunfall and yeah with uh, wild suns twilight you have nice win con and you also get like extra sweepers sometimes it's nice to have this you know free sweeper where you can just you know waste it a little bit not keep it until end of you know every single game to for a win con it's just you play it you force your opponent to deal with it and most of the time they cannot even four or five that usually wins games this is also one of the reasons we play chandra and big score and celestus we have really good ways to use this extra mana with twilight so guys I'm really happy with the deck. I think you will get to Mythic if you play enough. Uh, for me, it performed very nicely. And yeah, I hope it will be the same for you. So have fun and see you tomorrow.